A local teenager whose tap dancing career was just starting to take off has become another victim of senseless violence. He was shot by gang members and suddenly his dancing was gone. But as Channel 4's Laurel Erickson reports, he's still determined to follow his dreams. 20-year-old Christopher Broughton is considered one of the best tap dancers in Los Angeles. That was until three weeks ago on a Sunday morning as he washed his car. Broughton says he thought the bullets were firecrackers. I never really thought that I would ever, this would ever happen to me because I, I don't really associate with, with this type of, with that type of life. The tapper who danced his way around the world when he wasn't going to college suddenly couldn't use his legs. I can't even describe the pain I was in being hit in the knee and in the leg, so. And for a dancer, what does that mean? Right, and then that's when really the nights I had to cry myself to sleep. I didn't know, like. Broughton's sister and dance partner Chantel says it happened near Grandma's house at 64th and Raymond. Grandmother is actually a foster mom, a family friend who raised Christopher from childhood. In many ways, Broughton has always beaten the odds. His mother was a drug addict, he says, and he wasn't expected to live. Nine years later, Broughton was learning to tap dance at the Universal Dance Design Studios on the west side. Christopher was about nine or ten, and he was anxious. I always had a lot to say, but never really said nothing, you know, always kept to myself, you know. And based on that, um, I might have to, my self-confidence is what I really had. I'm not, I'm not conceited at all. I'm very humbled, but, um, I'm, but me, I know myself, and I know, like, when I can do something, I know I can do it. I probably don't brag about it, but I was like, okay, when the time's come, I will show you. Broughton speaks only of success, not failure. He's overcome every adversity, and he regards this fight to regain his legs and dance again as just one more hurdle to overcome. Being a dancer, it really hit close to home, and it really hurt, you know, not being able to, you know, go with my dance troupe and not be able to just to, to just to walk. You look at you know, somebody who, who can walk with two legs, like, that's a gift right there, you know? This weekend, the Universal Dance Design Studio celebrates its 25th anniversary. Christopher Boughton choreographed some of the performance, but this time, he'll be on the sidelines watching. Laurel Erickson, Channel 4 News. Good news for a lot of folks. Nearly